Hey everybody, Relay here. AMD just hit us with some game-changing news that may potentially change the market in their favor for the better in regards to their GPUs. And uh, I'm just going to go out and say it, uh, they may very well end up dethroning NVIDIA with this kind of technology. So whether or not you're aware, um, at the moment, NVIDIA has their own, what they call, um, frame generation technology, so DLSS, which... Um, Basically what it does is like an upscaling technology. So you could be playing in 1440p and if you want to upscale that to 4k you can um, While it doesn't look as crisp as native resolution. They do a very good job to make it look great through a uh, frame generation now what's just maybe potentially change the market is the fact that AMD has introduced FSR 3, which uh, we'll talk about a bit later on, but first we'll kind of dive into what DLSS and FSR really are. So ultimately, AMD and NVIDIA both come back to the same concept. So frame generation, um, but how they do that is different in both cases. DLSS, NVIDIA's proprietary frame generation, uses AI to generate more frames, which is what the tensor cores in the RTX series are for. And we'll touch up on the tensor cores a bit later. So basically, um, DLSS Deep Learning Super Sampling is an AI that learns and generates frames from the, uh, the gameplay. Now in AMD's case, FSR, or Fidelity Super Resolution, achieves the same result by using a different kind of technology. So instead, they use what's called fluid motion frames, which kind of um, fills the gaps between frames and generates additional frames in between the frames that were already rendered. And that's how it upscales. Now with that out of the way, let's just try to understand why NVIDIA is making all the wrong moves and AMD is making all the right moves. So when NVIDIA announced their newest upgrade to DLSS, DLSS 3, they mentioned that it would be exclusive to the 4000 series cards. Now, I get that, you know, there might be any changes in hardware, but at the same time, if you actually do a comparison between the 4000 series cards and the 3000 series cards, you'll see that they have a very similar amount of tensor cores, which is what, what the AI learning uses. It uses the tensor cores of the RTX. That being said, the only logistical reasoning that they can use behind why they locked it to the 4000 series RTX cards and never made it backwards compatible would be purely for marketing purposes so that they can market the RTX cards as having a higher performance um, in comparison to the other RTX cards without uh, doing it, you know, uh, with a native resolution. So what I think we're seeing here is a bit of NVIDIA's money hungry side and uh, they're charging a premium likely for the 4000 series cards and they're advertising DLSS 3 and hoping that people might buy the new technology that comes with the 4000 series card. So now at this point you might be asking yourself, well, what makes AMD's FSR 3 announcement so great? Well, I'll tell you. Basically, AMD has confirmed that FSR 3 not only will be an improvement over FSR 2, but that it will be fully backwards compatible for up to the 5000 series RX cards. So that means that they, without charging any additional cash, without locking it behind a new series, have basically given you future proofing for your current card if you're an AMD user. And depending on how well it runs, of course we haven't seen any uh, actual true footage from regular players like you and I, but depending on how well it runs, it may very well be the game changer that uh, you know throws Nvidia off its uh, high horse and gets them to actually, instead of uh, do things for, you know, greed purposes, uh, actually do things for the people who just want a good performing card at a decent price. And another great thing about FSR 3 is that even though AMD made it, they made it available for all GPUs. So you can actually technically use them on NVIDIA GPUs as well as Intel Arc series GPUs, which is pretty impressive. And uh, the fact that they didn't make it like proprietary is a... Uh, something to be commended for. Whereas NVIDIA, of course, DLSS is strictly DLSS for strictly NVIDIA cards, but you know, that's just the NVIDIA way. Lastly, I just wanted to mention that AMD basically has confirmed that they will be putting FSR into many, many more games than in prior history. So they'll even surpass DLSS support in their games, according to their, um, their word, which of course has yet to be seen. 
but it is a pretty old promise to make. So I'm excited if they do live up to it. I'm excited for AMD GPU users because, I mean, the performance gains are just uh, incredible for future proofing. Like, I mean, you can hold on to that 6000 series card for the next two generations with that kind of uh, performance gain. So kudos to AMD for, you know, what they did here. And with their FSR 3 making it backwards compatible, they're making it even across the board for both AMD and NVIDIA in terms of performance, which, uh, to be honest, might tip the scales in their favor considering their card prices with the new 7000 series coming out, 7700 and 7800, may very well be the next big seller. So to wrap things up, I just wanted to share that pretty exciting news for you AMD users out there and give you a bit of a basic description on what DLSS and FSR really are and how they work a little bit. So uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment and uh, take her easy.